you guys all right so um today i'm just going to do the first of one of my videos it is i'm doing old sketchbook tours so i'm basically probably going to go through three sketchbooks at a time so these videos might be a bit lengthy so i'm sorry about that um, and my camera's a bit shaky. Again, I also apologize for that. I don't have a tripod yet, so I'm actually using my hand. Um, and the noise is in the background. I live with kids. I can't really do anything about that, so I apologize. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, um, hit subscribe and hit the thumbs up button. Alright, hope you enjoy. So this is my first page. Um, oh, I guess it's the second page. Um, because I can't show you some of the pages in my sketchbooks because they have personal information on them, so I'm sorry about that. But anyway, this is the first drawing. I'm just going to flip through these pretty quickly because, like I said, they're a fair bit for you to get through, so I don't want it to be too long. Like I said, these are really old. This isn't even mine. My friend drew in my book. These are really old, so they're not very good, so I apologize for that. Again, I'm sorry if you can hear stuff in the background. My house is, I live in a pretty loud house. So I'm sorry about that. Everything kind of echoes through the house. So I apologize. Also, something that's really creepy about these um, drawings and all that. This is before I used to draw my head with like the circles and then the lines of it, right? Um, this is just when I do crosses, and when you didn't finish them, they looked super creepy, so. Also, when I did anatomy, it turned out real weird. I had a poor throwing bag, so I just drew it off of that. Yeah, no, it turned out crap. A lot of these drawings are like really bad, so I, and again, I'm sorry for that. Again, I'm going to continue to apologize about the noises. I can't really do anything about that. I live, I have neighbors and everything, and I have kids in my house, so. They are quite loud kids, so I apologize. really like this shoe. To this day, I still really like it. My friend's dolphin compared to my dolphin three and a half years ago. Right, next one. So this is really the first page you're actually able to see. And I'm sorry about because I have to skip a few of the pages so you don't see personal information, so I apologize. But yeah. drawing kimonos. I don't know why, but I do. The weird thing that turned about, out about this um, picture, so I have like tons of characters, right? This one is Kara, and the thing about her is she's like super pale, like she's albino. And the marker just made her look like she was orange, so yeah, it turned out pretty weird. This is Squirrel. Yes, I have a character named Squirrel. That's obviously not her real name, but Squirrel. Um, she looks way different now, so a bunch of eyes. This one, to this day, still freaks me out. So does this one, and this one. This is a 
character from an anime. If you can guess, considering how bad the picture actually is, I'd be impressed. Do some random wings. This character's color scheme was actually based off of a mat in a um, tavern that we were at for dinner. So that's kind of weird. A lot of these pages I only draw on one side at this point. So yeah, sorry about that. I started drawing a bunch of like outfits in this book. Oh my god. This drawing is so bad because the I couldn't run out the pencil lines behind it. So I'm so sorry about that. This picture isn't much better either. So I was doing it and then I don't know what happened here. I think the lead got into the color and it kind of just smudged. So. My character Leia. She's in here a few times. Again. Again. This is Kara. Um, one of my friends, oh, not my friends, one of the people I went to school with asked me to draw them, so. First time I drew the Eiffel Tower, I actually draw it quite often now, but it tends to just be like the line art of it, so. Drew a bunch of random items. I redraw this exact drawing tons of times in the future, so. Drew Ladybug, and to this day, I still think this turned out pretty well. I don't know. This is the first time I used colored pencils to color in. This was at like a, a year six fair was in it because I live in Australia, so we have like two schools, not three. So it goes primary, which is like kindergarten to year six, and then high school, which is year seven to year twelve this cat eye because some girls in school were asking me to because they couldn't draw one so Sora just kind of small, I guess this is what Squirrel looks like now it's a random boy just drew some art supplies I just wanted it was Christmas so I was like draw a Christmas person this is kind of dark um as you can see here it's inspired by the song Shatter Me so it goes from like this to this. It's kind of freaky. Okay, this drawing, I just need to explain here, it's actually copyrighted. You can't draw this. So you can't do like the earth thing and then do the patterns and then the colors in the countries or the continents. So I'm sorry about that, but that's actually copyrighted. I do it at the end of all my sketchbooks. It's mine and I'm sorry about that, but it is copyrighted. So please don't attempt to copy that. These were just like a bunch of kids I went to primary school with in my year, or oh, ending the year below me. Drew the zodiac signs, then did this weird heart thing, which I still think is pretty cool. Um, my friend here, um, drew a mandala in my book. It turned out really well, and she signed it and all that. My name's Michaela, and then like Cece, it's like her middle name and last name. So yeah, it turned out pretty well. But yeah. And then this character. That's what Kara looks like. That's more what she looks like. That's Jenny. That's Hana. That's Vanessa. Scribbles. And then these two aren't even my characters. They're my friend's characters. And then I have a bunch of symbols. Alright, on to the last one that we have for to this video. This one's kind of falling apart, so I'm sorry about that. I actually do this a ton now. I saw it in a video like once, so you like mark out like a bunch of spaces and everything, and then like you limit yourself to drawing in that one space, and it turns. It yeah, I do this in almost every one of my sketchbooks now. This is when I started using watercolor pencil. 
If you guys have noticed, yes, I am actually filming on my bed. I'm sorry about that at the moment. We just put my shelves up and everything, so my desk is a bit of a mess. Um, tried to draw a body. Didn't go very well. I drew a house. Again, didn't go very well. This is Leia. She, I don't know what the hell happened with like the lead markings here. This is before like I lined stuff. And this is like my first comic strip I ever did. Ready? I redraw this like every year, so goes there. And then yeah. Like I said, I do these on a lot of my sketchbooks and all that, just random like color blobs and then I write something nice on them because they make me happy. Um, sorry about the Descendants of Magic thing a lot. That's going to pop up a fair few times in this sketchbook. Because um, that's originally what my story Dragonheart was called. So that's why you see it a ton in this book. This paper isn't exactly the best because when you put acrylic on both sides of the sheets here, they actually stick to each other. So. Like I said, it's going to pop up a fair bit. Try to do anatomy here. Came out a bit weird. Again, these are actually my characters, by the way, so. I started doing Togo, as you can tell, it was just a bit like off. I did it. A, I did it. Oh, sorry, that was my foot. I did it a bit randomly, so. Again, this, she is actually not a character. I've been wanting to make her a character for years. Um, Kara's hair was inspired by it. Again, I like redraw Squirrel, and I was like, maybe she looks good like this. No. Just, no. That was like her shoes. Jenny. I don't know why. I was really into doing, like, when I drew the faces, I always did them like baby faces, is what I called them. Really hard to flip this paper. It's making it very hard. There we go. It's Ella again. So she's like Zora's little sister in my story. This was something we actually did in primary school. We like set up like little stores and all that and sell stuff and I and we called our store Market Mayhem because we didn't sell anything specific. So this is Yugino for the first time. Some symbols in my books, like in my stories, they're just a little more detailed here. So layer again. Zora. This comic strip was actually for um, I read, this was in primary school, and I read, like, a story and all that, and the teacher knew I could draw, so they were like, oh, why don't you do a comic strip and all that, so, yeah. My crappy-ass comic strip. That obviously I never finished. Drew layers of superhero. This bird, I've drawn that many times in my life, like, this exact picture. I drew when I was, like, First time I think I drew it when I was like five. This is just su something super dark. I don't know why, but you know, it's there. So, watercolor pencil again. This is actually so hard to flip the paper with one hand. I tried doing anatomy a few times here. Okay, this picture right here, my cousin drew in this, my book. To this day, this freaks the crap out of me. It's just so, ugh.
this doesn't make any sense unless you know my story. Um, I let my friend um, draw in here. Drew Hanna again. Sorry, something was falling out of my book. And then, done. Alright, so that's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed. Sorry, again, I'm going to apologize about the, all the noises in the background, how shaky this camera is, and, you know, my feet constantly moving across the bed, and the fact that I'm filming on a bed, and how crap the lighting is right now. So I'm sorry about that. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, and ring the bell to keep notified and stay tuned for part two of um, my old sketchbook tour all right have a nice day bye